Oh, it feels great. I mean, his his superpower, I think, is is not necessarily how he throws the football or how he runs an offense out there, but just how he is with the team, uh, how he approaches everyone, how he pushes everyone, just with his presence. Oh, I think just support and confidence. Uh, that we, all of us have been together for a long time. When, when you look at Tim and Aaron and myself, and um, I think that's always going to help. Uh, but it also helps all those other guys to inspire confidence into them. So I think any time a guy like Aaron Rodgers is around, it's going to help everyone that's, that he surrounds himself with. Uh, Brees is doing good. I think across the board, I think everybody's pressing a little bit. I think Brees is sometimes looking for uh, a big hitter and trying to spring that uh, that down the field 80-yard touchdown that he's totally capable of. Uh, but those come within those small yardage plays first and being able to lower your pads and get downhill and get a couple of those plays. So I think that um, we just got to get into a rhythm and get more plays. We're all pressing, and it starts with me, and, and, and I have to stop that. Uh, I think that for us, regardless, Regardless of what we do, regardless of what play it is, we all have to execute better and we have to come up with better plays. So I think it's a combination because you're always searching when you're not getting exactly what you want out there. We go into every game plan and we feel great about what we have. The guys feel great. And uh, unfortunately, some of the things have not worked and and it's it's frustrating. And we've talked about this now for a couple of weeks. And it's like, you know, you just, you just want to get the guys in a rhythm because they work so hard. Everybody works so hard. And uh, we never want to stay stagnant and say, hey, continually do the same thing over and over again um, but you do want to break, build a foundation so uh, it's one of those things we just want to put them in the best position possible and give them some confidence. Sometimes it's experimenting with too many new things instead of building a foundation or trying to take too many shots or uh, try to get unique runs instead of just letting the, those guys go to work uh, so I think as a coach we're always looking from within first because that's what we can control. There's so many things that we can't control when they go out on that field that you want to do everything you can for those guys. Uh, so sometimes you just have to let them go out and play and, and give them the looks and, and trust that they're going to execute it. And uh, I think I think that's where I got to be with them. Uh, for us, it's about opportunity. It's about guys growing. It's about being a young team. It's about giving them the experience to actually go out there and play football in live situations. Uh, so for us, I, I mean, any experience you can get on the field is, is priceless. And to see some of these young guys go out there, a bunch of rookies, I mean, what, what Tip has seen in the past couple of weeks is the most he's ever seen in his entire life. And uh, watching him respond is, is unbelievable. I mean, he just he, he soaks everything in and wants to learn more, and he's getting better. And I think that's, that's the key. It might not look like it um, at times because there's certain – you know, whether we're taking turns or it's somebody else, it's, it's about that experience and growing so they can continually get better. So I think that's what we're always looking for, and that's why we've been able to give a lot of young guys. I know uh, looking out there at one point, there was a lot of first and second year players out there, uh, but it wasn't too big for them, and they battled that whole game. They didn't care what the situation was. They, they were enjoying playing with each other and going out there, and all we're going to see is them get better. Now, what should have been done differently on the Hail Mary? I know Coach Sala addressed that one. You know, Hail Marys are very unique, and there were a couple things that happened there. Um, but those are things that it, we're going to have to continually practice and, and go through. Can you practice that? As well as you can. Right. <laughs> what, what do you want to see or what do you hope to see from Tim this time? Uh, just continually operating the huddle, operating the line of scrimmage, and getting the ball out of his hand and making good decisions. I thought uh, he, he did a lot of good things, especially uh, once we were out there for a while. Um, for us, like we've talked about, it's about third down to be able to get everybody in a rhythm. And, and he hadn't been out there in a real life situation in a long time, and we were on a short week. Uh, but I thought there was a lot of things that he saw well, especially for all the dramatic looks uh, that was given to him. So um, I'm excited for him to have another opportunity.